Stefan, thank you very much for joining me for this interview. Hello, Sandro. So you are one of the founders of Nuxio, that's open source enterprise content management software. Tell me a bit more about your role. Yeah, well, I'm, I founded this company 10 years ago. Uh, I wanted to create a, an open source uh, s software vendor, someone, some, a company that really creates uh, software, but using both the open source mo methodology and also uh, trying to have a business that is really compatible with these uh, open source uh, values. And we moved to a, a strict open source vendor model from a, an open source service model because we think that with this model we can focus on creating the best software platform that we can. And then we partner with uh, uh, either uh, so, uh, systems integrators or ISV that can uh, uh, embed our own uh, platform, our own software into either uh, customer custom developments or uh, generic but vertical niche market uh, solutions. Marketing, communicating uh, open source product, what is special about it? How is it different from a proprietary product? Well, there are some uh, common points and there are some uh, different points. I think the, the, the most common thing is that you need to clearly articulate, articulate the value of your product to the, to the customer. So if a part of the value of your product is that, op is that it is so open source, yes, there are specific points uh, where you will explain or with open source, their uh, development team will be more efficient, they will, there will be more transparency in, in your system. So if there is something wrong or, so, or if they have questions, they can really look into the, the source code. And also, uh, what's another interesting point is that uh, with an open source model where uh, there are uh, external contributors, uh, when there is a nice, interesting contribution from a, a partner, uh, but they don't want to, to work anymore on it because, for instance, it was for a one-shot project. They can donate it to the main uh, software vendor, the, the, the company that is responsible for the roadmap, for the overall quality of the product, and then this product, if it is really relevant to other people, will be maintained. And the end customer will benefit from uh, everything that is done uh, in this uh, in, in this uh, product after the project is finished so you will uh, this way you, you you will be able to lower the maintenance maintenance costs for your own um, maybe not specific because when it's really really specific only one uh, company will, will use it but if it's something that is has been developed specifically but that can be used by other uh, companies or customers, then it makes sense to uh, have this as a common module. Is open source still relevant, for example, in the press, or is it a worn out buzzword? I don't think so. There are some really successful uh, open source companies or older com uh, company like Red Hat or other that, that are doing uh, really well. The when you of course, when you talk uh, to the press, the, the journalists are, uh, are all aware of the open source movement uh, uh, and I've been aware from, from the last uh, 10 years. But when you talk so, to some uh, customers, they still need to understand the business model, the contribution model. Sometimes they also need to understand the, the legal uh, issues or uh, uh, important point before they, they can make uh, uh, relevant de decision uh, before going to, uh, towards open source. You are also one of the founders of the Open World Forum. That's, I would say, the leading open source event in France. It takes place in Paris annually. Um, that tells me you have a very good understanding of the French open source community, of course, also because you are here in France. Um, how does it differ from other communities? What is special about the French open source community? Well, I, th I guess that what's par particularly special is that it's a dynamic and vibrant uh, community and it's also a dynamic ecosystem. Uh, there have been uh, some studies by uh, Pierre Audouin Conseil, a uh, European uh, um, uh, analyst group that says that France, maybe with Germany, are the two leading uh, European countries uh, with regard to with regard to uh, uh, open source adoption. So the market is here in France. There is um, the, the public sector has been uh, leading 
the, the evolution of the market uh, towards uh, adoption of open source and hundreds of small companies, some of them which have been, uh, which have become uh, medium company, uh, 500 people, the, the, the biggest French pure player in open source systems integration is a company called Smile and there are now f uh, 500 people so it's already a, a large company by, by uh, c certain standards. Uh, so the market is still evolving. Uh, we find that the um, French engineers are really keen on working on open source but it's still hard to find enough engineers to to really uh, to, to to recruit in all these uh, French uh, open source companies. So yes, we, we still need to uh, to create a tr traction around open source, both for the market to continue to to grow and also to grow uh, the ecosystem, uh, the R and D project that are related to our technologies, and also the um, the training of the the engineers and salespeople and even marketing people. Great, thank you very much Stefan, that was very helpful. Thank you Sandro and see you next year. Yeah, thank you.